Good morning, y'all. I made it to Lake Berryessa, and today I'm going to be trying out my brand new boat that I've been talking about for the past two videos. It's called the Sea Eagle Packfish 7. It is an inflatable raft, so that makes it very portable, which was why I bought it in the first place. I wanted something that was portable, something that I can just toss into the trunk without having to use a trailer. This was the perfect boat for me, and I can't wait to test it out, so... Let's get out into the water, guys. Oh shit, I caught a fish. I didn't even feel him bite. Oh shit. That was cool. That was weird. I thought, that, was, that, was, that was a surprise. Holy shit. Look at that. I did not see that one coming. Oh. Woo. Oh. Woo. Oh. He's a. F oh. Still fighting, huh? Even as I'm bringing the show. Wow. He's a chunky bass. Jesus. Oh. God damn. Yeah, I did not feel this guy bite at all. I just dropped my bait down straight to the bottom, as deep as possible. And then uh, this bass just came along and choked the robo worm. God damn, what a beauty. Woo. Okay, so I just unhooked her and she is definitely a gorgeous largemouth bass. Very, very, very chubby. Look at that belly. Look at that. It's a, she has got a very chubby belly. Absolutely healthy and gorgeous. First fish of the day and first fish from the Pack Fish 7. Nice. Alright. Bye bye, girl. Time for you to go back into your natural habitat. There we go, she's gone. Finally, 
second fish of the day. It has been slow. Slow, slow, slow. I'm not sure if the GoPro captured the fish because my chest is at a new angle due to the life vest that I'm wearing. Look at this, guys. Just like what I talked about in my last video, I'm doing the reel set technique. So if you use this technique, you'll hook them right by the nose almost all the time. Just unhook the fish, and now I'm gonna release her back into her natural habitat. There she goes. There's one. Yep, there's one. Whoa, yeah. Yep, it's fighting pretty well. These Berryessa bass, I noticed they're not uh, big by any means, but they are fighting really, really well. And they're uh, all seem to be pretty healthy. Look at this guy. Absolutely choked the robo worm. He's a small one, but that's cool. Thought he was a spotted bass at first, but another largey. Now he's gonna go back into the water right where he belongs. Well, you got it? There we go. She got it. There's one, ha <laughs> yes, yes, ha <laughs> ha, I was like telling myself, oh man, am I only gonna catch three today? No, sir, I'm still gonna catch one more. <laughs> uh, I was hoping I would catch at least five today, but I'll take four. <laughs> Woo, this guy's fighting pretty hard. Ooh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Fighting very hard. Oh, oh my goodness. This is a... Uh-oh. Set my drag a little too loose. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. I set my drag way too loose there. This one looks like a big one. Oh. Oh my god, it is a big one. This thing is fighting like crazy, dude. Jeez, look at my rod. It's bending. Oh my god. I haven't had a rod bend like this since the six pounder. So this is either a six pounder or something a lot bigger. And I think it might just break my PB. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh shit, don't move. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna tie this baby out. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is a big in. Oh my God. Oh, Ooh, baby. Look at that. Look at that bass, baby. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I don't wanna scream because I don't wanna get too hyped and then fuck it up. Okay, all right. Let's bring you to shore, baby. Oh my God. Look at that monster. Okay, now I can freak out. <laughs> oh my God. Ooh, wow. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah.
yes! Last cast of the day, baby! And I caught this fucking monster! Oh! I was honestly not that happy that I only caught three today until this biggin came along. Jesus fucking guys, like, I was telling myself the whole time today, after I caught three bass, I was like, oh man, did the bite slow down? Am I not gonna land another one? You know, it, it doesn't feel good. Uh, it kind of ruins. It kind of bruises your ego a bit, especially when last time I caught six at Anderson. So I was like, "Come on, there's got to be a little bit more action." And ha oh, ha! Wow! Now this is what I'm talking about. This is a bear yes a bass for you, ladies and gentlemen. This might just break my PB. Let's see. Holy cow! Oh my god, she's a. Oh my god, she's a fatty. Oh. Oh my god. Masters. Holy shit. Ooh. Okay. I dropped my rod. Like an idiot. Like an idiot would. Jesus, guys, look at this. Look at this absolute slab. Oh my god. Look at that bucket mouth. This is why they're called large mouth bass, baby. <laughs> Look at that mouth. Oh my god, it's such a big mouth. And it just absolutely devoured the robo worm. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, I love drop shotting. You can catch a lot of small ones but from time to time. Big ones like this will smash your bait. And oh my god, this is like. This is, this must be a dream or something. <laughs> oh, let's see how much this girl weighs. Oh, 4.6 pounds, I don't believe that. Oh, wow, not as big as my, I just broke my personal best. Uh, <laughs> I'm just like rescaling this thing a couple times just to make sure. Well, I've made sure. Okay, so the scale is fluctuating between 4.5 to 4.51. So it's basically about four and a half pounds. And that doesn't break my PB. My PB is six pounds and 38 ounces. But regardless, this is still an amazing, amazing fish. Just look at her. She is an absolute monster. And I'd never, honestly, it's just more than I could have ever asked for <laughs> again. <laughs> um, I wasn't having that great of a day out here at Berryessa at first. It was really slow. And then the bites start picking up a bit and then it slowed down again. So it was fluctuating throughout the day. And then all of a sudden, my day just brightened up instantly when this monster of a bass just slammed my robo worm. Oh my God, look at her. She is an absolute beauty. Okay, I'm gonna take a couple pictures of this big girl and then release her back into the water. Let's watch this big girl swim away. She looks like she's a little confused, a little disoriented, and probably in quite a bit of shock. So we're gonna, hopefully she starts sw women. Come on. There we go. Woo.
guys, I've made it back home and I am honestly beat. I am super tired and I just want to hit the sack right now. But I want to talk a little bit about my fishing trip and I want to give y'all my opinion on the Packfish 7. So first of all, fishing was an absolute blast today. I caught four largemouth bass in total, with the last one being four and a half pounds. That is definitely a big one. It is not my PB. My PB is six pounds and 38 ounces, but regardless, it is still a big fish and it put up one hell of a fight. So I was honestly glad and thrilled to have caught that bass. At first, the bite was slow. I only managed to land one fish in the morning, and then the bite just stopped for the next two hours before it slowly started to pick up again. The whole time that I was out there fishing, I was throwing the drop shot with a four and a half inch margarita mutilator robo worm. The reason why I rely so heavily on the drop shot is because it is my favorite technique and it is the one that I am most comfortable with. Some people don't like to really use the drop shot just because it's slow and it is mainly used for finesse fishing, but not all the time as you can tell by the last catch. <laughs> now secondly, I want to talk a little bit about the Packfish 7. It is an extremely portable boat which I love and it is well designed and sturdy. Honestly, I had no problems with the raft whatsoever and allowed me to get from point A to point B with relative ease. It's super portable and easy to set up. And there's even a floorboard that allows you to stand up and fish which I think is pretty cool. I'm a power lifter and I weigh about 220 pounds and I was able to stand up on that raft with no problems whatsoever. So if any of y'all are looking for a boat that's super portable and easy to set up, I highly recommend the Sea Eagle Packfish 7. With all that being said, it's time for me to hit the sack. Deuces, y'all.